The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infraworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Pentagon top brass getting you down? McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. You know, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. We played our part in all of this. Well, we did the right thing. I don't think humanity needs a third world war. What are you going to do now? Leave. Go somewhere far away and just try and lead a normal life. <sighs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given them an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us, and I, and I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. It's worth a try. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? Never say no to a single malt. <laughs> Great, I'll see you in a bit. Let's go, Jody, Nathan's waiting. Here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. Okay. Whatever Nathan says, be careful.
Jody. Oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die too. I cried a lot, banging my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why, why them? Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. gave me everything I needed to study the infra-world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Condenser that can communicate with the souls of the infra world. Speaking with the dead, Jody. Can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Give me your hands. Between two worlds. That's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. They're suffering, Nathan. If you love them, 
If you, if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nick. you find peace. Hi, Johnny. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. We don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. We will always be grateful for your help. Separated again. What are you? What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread to our dimension. Life and death united in one world. It's not just souls on the other side. It's death. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Weak, Aiden. Find something else. Get help. Hurry.
Where's the rest of your team? Bins and Nick? <laughs> they have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? If this is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Aiden be here without Jody? Give us a sign if it's you, Aiden. What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. Right. Now where? This way. Want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. You gotta get us past Maiden. Just 42, hello. Hello? Hello? He's done it. I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman, Ryan Clayton? I'm sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody.
Jody's here? Jody. Get, get out. Oh. Nathan. He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. He thinks he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. Containment field. Oh Christ, he's done it. He's done it! You need help? No. No, I'm okay. This way! Hurry up! Don't stay here! We gotta go on! Get out! Now! We gotta get out! Now! It might still be a chance to reactivate the field. It isn't already too late. Jesus! They're out! They're all out! thing the InfraWorld needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Clayton! Get me out of here immediately, Clayton! Agent Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. You're all gonna die! Stop the condenser or reactivate the field. There's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here while we still can. Wait. There's one more thing I can try. Hurry! We're out of time! What are you doing? The portable containment field. Should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual self-destruct. Might be our only chance to close the rift. It's a long shot, but it's the best I got. Oh, you're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here with the military clean up their own fucking mess. Jody, no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. Right? I always figured I'd die a hero. The Black Sun is at the center of the dome. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. Zone is on the other side of that door. We've got company. Oh, they haven't seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. 
or a little trip into the info world might come to a sticky end. Don't get too close to that. Let's go! this.
they don't count! Maybe it's because they don't recognize you anymore! Your anger has changed you! I miss them! I miss them so much! Let me pass, Nathan! The condenser must be destroyed! You know it's the only way! I missed you. I missed you so much. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Do it. Do it for me. Jody. Join the Black Sun. Just take this. Oh and no, do it. those things are gonna slaughter you. Take the damn belt and destroy the fucking condenser. I get out of here before I change my mind. <laughs> Inject you with a neural acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. It's too late. It's too late. Fuck up, 
witch. What do you do with witches? Burn them. I'm sick and tired of your stories! Story this time, you're really gonna get it! Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me.
Aiden? We made it. Jody, we made it. Aiden? Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks, trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments, now that they know it's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much.
took months. Months of nothing passing by. And I woke up. I knew it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. It took me a while to realize how much I loved them. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone. We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone, to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. as if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. See things at night. Terrifying things.
tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No, it's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Next time, I'll kill everyone. My God, I was so afraid I lost you. There's no telling what we'll find down here. How much time do we have after the back to be the self-destruct? We're not coming back.